Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show. And um, I just want to make a real quick video. Uh, uh, I've been thinking about this for a while, hanging out with Hungar and the rest of the gang over on the uh, Chaotic Neutral live stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning at uh, 9.30 uh, avocado time. And I was thinking, you know, we've been talking a lot about uh, fantasy RPGs, Dungeons and Dragons, the different editions and things like that. And I was wondering what you guys think is the best uh, party composition, uh, including races and classes, uh, for, for your fantasy games. You know, I, I'm coming strictly from, uh, you know, Dungeons & Dragons, Advanced Dungeons & Dragons, I should say, uh, f frame of mind. That, that's that's my, uh, my go-to game when it comes to fantasy role-playing, because that's the game I got started with, that's the game I know the best. And as everybody knows, it is actually the best game when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons. Now, for me, uh, the ideal party would be, mind you, I should preface this, uh, a good party, a good aligned party, uh, not an evil party. I can go into that if you guys are interested. Uh, uh, I can do that tomorrow or something. But for me, right off the bat, it's going to start with a paladin to lead the party. And then, you know, the paladin doesn't always have to lead the party. Maybe maybe it's a real young paladin, and there's somebody older and wiser uh, in the party to, to fill that role to help bring the paladin up. But you got to have a paladin, okay? After that, uh, I'm going to start with the fighters. Uh, a ranger and one or more other fighters in the party. Uh, preferably, uh, some of them will be like dwarves or elves or half-elves, half-orcs. I'm not a big fan of half orcs. I, I've only allowed one in the entirety of, of my gaming career. Um, not not really allowed. There was only one guy who wanted to run one. We ran the heck out of it. It was fun, but nobody ever really wanted to run them. I, I know a lot of people like them, but you want to have a, a, a good half orc in your game. Cool to me. I, I I don't think it's even a possibility. But okay, we got the fighters more or less handled. Then uh, a priest, uh, maybe someone to help bring the the uh, paladin, you know, help the paladin out. Maybe, you know, same religion. doesn't have to be, but that would be cool and easier to work with. Okay, you got the, the, the fighters, you've got a priest, you've got one or more magic users, preferably a human magic user, and uh, a... I'm going to go with a, an elven fighter mage, that way you're not going to have two of those other slots. Although, um, I do like gnome illusionists, uh, they can go unlimited in illusionist, unlimited in thief, and to me that just means that the, the 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 characters can all you know focus on just adventuring as opposed to constantly worrying about well you know he's falling behind because he's level capped or or they're looking for a way to bust that level cap which I can go into later as well. Then you're going to need at least one, preferably two thieves, because uh, if one guy fails, you got another guy to back him up to you know open locks find, remove traps, things like that. Better to be safe than sorry. And as everybody knows, you know, if the thief fails with a, a trap detection, he could very well be out of the game because he got skewered by, you know, a poison dart or whatever trap that he was trying to disarm. And after that, after you've got the fighters, the clerics, the thieves, the magic users, uh, I like to have... Uh, a couple of the other, you know, off uh, off the beaten track sort of characters, maybe a druid or a monk or, or maybe a fighter who, who tells me at the beginning of the game, I want to go into bard, so I'm going to do the fighter, thief, druid, bard thing. Awesome. Love that. Um, there are some other professions that you might allow, the barbarian, the cavalier, the thief acrobat, stuff like that, that, to be honest, I've never known anybody who wanted to run the thief acrobat. The Cavalier, everybody always wanted to just go Paladin instead. Makes sense. You get more for just a little bit more work. The Barbarian, uh, I've had a few players want to run that, but without the specialization, uh, the other bonuses they get for being a Barbarian can easily, easily be picked up by taking the right non-weapon proficiencies. Yes, I use non-weapon proficiencies, proficiencies and uh, specialization rules as well as everything in the Unearthed Arcana. I know a lot of people don't like it, uh, but I'm a big fan of it. And the reason why I like a party with, with this nice kind of mix, uh, not only does the party get to have the ability, at least you know, somewhat, 
depending on level, to face any kind of challenge I'm in the mood to throw at them. But it also allows me to throw just about any kind of challenge I'm in the mood for. Whether it be combat, traps, puzzles, research and lore and trying to figure out clues and investigation. You've got like all the bases covered and you know uh, I, I can already hear a friend of mine going oh, optimization, optimization. You know what? Um, if you don't optimize uh, in the real world in a combat heavy situation you're going to lose. And adventuring is a combat heavy situation. You are going to be you know uh, in combat you're going to be people have people shoot at you, chase you etc. If you don't have all your bases covered, you're probably not going to make it past third level, and I'm not the kind of DM that's going to, you know, uh, give you tons of healing potions or, you know, gimmies like that. Uh, you're going to be hard-pressed to heal. You're going to be hard-pressed to survive without a good, well-balanced team. Now, I know there's a lot of people who like to run like an all-thief or an all-paladin or, um, you know, games like that, that's cool. You know, every once in a while, you know, try something different. But for the most part, I like a nice, really well-rounded squad of characters that can handle just about anything that, that's going to be thrown at them. Uh, mind you, whether it's from me, whether it's from some sort of random situation on the off chance that I roll up something random. They've got someone who can at least try to handle it, as opposed to, well, it's magic. We don't have a magic user uh, we'll just ignore it because there's nothing we can do. Or there's undead. I guess we're running. Um, you know, because uh, speaking of undead, I'm getting ready to go over to uh, Gatekeepers and talk about undead. I'll probably bring it up again. But there you have it. That's my my ideal party composition for a good aligned Dungeons and Dragons style party. Um, you could run this in. You know, all the you know clones of the greatest game ever. Um, or you know, maybe you've got some other game that's similar. Uh, either way, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys think, and uh, maybe we'll talk about this uh, later tomorrow or Friday. But until then, i got to hit the road. You guys have a great evening, and as always, happy trails. <laughs>